Welcome back to another show of Golf Tips. I'm your host and teaching professional, Gary Bauer. On today's show, we'll visit Pipestone Golf Club, a beautiful course to play in Miamisburg, Ohio. Thanks for watching, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Now at this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Scott Effinger, the head golf professional here at Pipestone Golf Club. Hi, Scott. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank so, you. So tell us a little bit about this club. Uh, Pipestone was uh, built in 1992. It's an Arthur Hills design mm -hmm. golf club. Um, we do pride ourselves on being one of the public, best public golf courses in the, in the area. Um, I believe we are. I'm not just being biased or anything, but yeah. playing other, I think we are one of the best. The greens here are always really good. Superintendent's been doing a great job with the weather and everything this spring, trying to keep up with the grass. And, and it's everything. been tough with all the rain, yeah. Yes, it has. But yeah, his guys have done a really good job of keeping everything up and doing a good job with it. Beautiful course, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your uh, junior program. Yeah, we've got a uh, got two different junior programs. Uh, we have one that's actually put on by the city of Miamisburg. That'll be the last week in June. That one you can actually sign up by going to playmiamisburg.com. Then I'm going to be putting on a junior clinic myself that'll be the last week in July. And they can either sign up by going to my email of seffinger at hampton.golf or they can call the pro shop at 937-866-4653. And then we also do have a junior membership we're doing this year. Um, they can pay monthly and it gets them uh, free unlimited golf after 12 o'clock. Oh, that's unlimited great. range balls. Mm -hmm. And also they get the benefits of you know the discounts in the pro shop as sure. well by being a member. Very good, very good. Now also you guys have a beautiful restaurant. Yes, we do. We have an in-house chef here that does all of our cooking. Uh, he can, uh, regular menu mainly are like burgers, pulled pork. And if you haven't had a chance, our pulled pork is very good. He smokes it for 15 hours wow. before he pulls the pork. And then for outings that we do have, he can pretty much make anything from pulled pork to salmon to steaks or anything else they would like. That's menu. great. Great. Hey, Scott, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Very good. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. And on this first segment of today's show, I'm here at beautiful Pipestone Golf Club, the 12th hole. It's a challenging par five, but I'm going to cover chipping first. And chipping is not hard. A lot of people, they they get to the, the green, they're on the fringe, and, and they don't know what to do. Uh, sometimes they putt it. My rule of thumb is if you're a foot or more off the green, chip it. Foot or less, go ahead and putt it. And these greens here at Pipestone are excellent greens. I mean, they are beautiful greens. Now I'm going to chip. I'm going to cover chipping on this first segment. I got my 56 degree wedge here. And with your wedges, when you chip with the wedge, you want to play the ball back in your stance off the inside right knee. So I'm going to play the ball back in my stance. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm, what I'm saying. Some people will use a 9-iron to chip with. Some will use an 8-iron. That's fine, too. You can do a bump and run shot. I've got plenty of green to work with. I've probably got about, oh, maybe 20, 22 feet here. But I'm going to use my 56-degree wedge. I'm going to play the ball back in my stance off my inside right knee. And I'm going to keep my wrist stiff and firm. How hard do you swing? I've been a golf professional 34 years. People ask me that almost every day when I give lessons. How hard do you swing? Well, that's up to the individual. Some people are stronger than others. So it just depends. It's just practice on how far to bring that club back to generate club head speed to get that ball to travel to the hole. But the first thing you want to do when you get up to your ball and it's on the fringe is read the contour of the green. Is, is it going to break right to left, left to right? Is it going to go straight? Always remember this. When I worked at Muirfield Village years ago, I was told you never ever have a straight putt, very seldom, or a chip. So you do have some break in the green. Is it going to break right to left, left to right, or is it going to go straight? Who knows? Once you read the contour of the green to see if it's going to break right to left, left to right, or go straight, you pick a spot. You pick a spot and you practice swing to that spot. The area where you want that ball to land to let it roll to the hole. And then you don't really need to look at the hole. So you play the ball back in your stance off the inside right knee. I'm a right-handed golfer. Again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite. My hands are under my chin, so that means my hands will be ahead of the golf ball. That is crucial. A lot of people will set up, and they'll have their hands back here. The only thing they're going to do is blade it. They'll top the ball, and it'll roll. You have to have your hands ahead of the ball, so you come down with a descending blow to pop the ball up. So you got the ball back in your stance, inside right knee. My hand should be under my chin. So that means my hands will be slightly out ahead of the ball. 
and your wrist stay stiff and firm. Never flip your wrist. Never break your wrist when you chip. A lot of people do that. They'll blade the ball. It's going to roll across the green. So you play the ball back in your stance. Your wrist stays stiff and firm. And your hands are ahead of the golf ball. So let's hit a few shots here and see what we got. I'm going to try to make it land maybe halfway to the hole, maybe 10 feet, because I'm going uphill, actually. So I'm going to try to make it land about 10 feet onto the green, maybe a little bit further even. We'll see. So I'm going to take some practice swings. My wrist will stay stiff and firm. And it's just back and through it with the arms. Okay. Should be able to one putt that one. So my wrist stayed stiff, back and through it. And that's what's crucial. Again, you never want to flip your wrist. A lot of golfers do that. They blade it when they flip their wrist. Wrist stay stiff and firm. So what I want to do, I want to have my weight on my left side, not back on my right foot, but my weight a little bit more forward on my left foot, just the opposite if you're a left-handed golfer. Take those practice swings, keep the wrist stiff and firm, pick that spot where you want the ball to land, and hopefully let it roll up close to the hole. So let's hit another one here. Okay, not bad, right on line. Okay. Hands are under my chin, so my hands are slightly ahead of the ball. Ball position inside right knee, wrist stays stiff. Pick my spot. Okay, a little heavy on that one. Now, I did hit a little bit behind that ball. What I did wrong was as I came down to hit it, I actually dropped my right shoulder just a little bit, hit a little bit fat or heavy. Try to stay a little bit more still. Stay still when you chip. It's just your arms back and through it. A little bit more weight on your left side. And wrist stay stiff. Pick that spotter area where you want the ball to land. go almost okay so it's not a hard shot again I'm using a wedge a 56 degree wedge to hit my shots here you could use a nine iron you could use an eight iron get a little bit of roll if you want to uh, but I wouldn't go below an eight iron uh, they do have a shot called a bump and run shot when I cover that with my students that's where the hole is maybe 30 feet away, 40 feet or longer, use a seven iron, hit a bump and run. It's a lot easier to roll it to the hole than it is to fly it to the hole. So again, I'm using my 56 degree wedge. Got about a 20 foot shot here. 20, 22 foot shot. Ball position inside right knee. Hands are under my chin. So my hands are ahead of the ball, that's crucial. Hands are out ahead and the wrist stays stiff and firm. Okay. Okay, again, so it's not a hard shot. Got the ball back in my stance, back and through it with the arms. Wrist stay stiff. Almost. Okay. Let's hit a few more here. Oh, that ball was in the way. That might have been in. Close. All right. Okay, a little bit harder. And again, how hard do we swing? I tell people that all the time. They, they ask me, Gary, how hard should I swing to hit this shot? Well, I don't know. Some people are stronger than others. Just pick that spot out, hopefully hit that spot or area that you think if the ball lands there, it's going to roll up to the hole. And that's just taking those practice swings, knowing how strong you are, but you've got to stay down now. You want to pop it up. Ball position inside right knee, wrist stay stiff. My hands are out ahead. Hmm, almost. All right, let's hit, hit a few more here. It's not a hard shot. 
Just takes a little bit of practice. Got my weight on my left side. Align a little bit harder. All right. Just hit a couple more. Get in a hole. That's close. All right, one more, one more. And the key is you gotta follow through also. You don't wanna just stop. A lot, of, a lot of golfers, they come back and they stab at the ball. The ball just hops and doesn't go anywhere. See how I'm following, following through? I'm getting through the shot, releasing through it, hopefully picking my spot or area and letting, letting it roll to the hole. One more shot here. Right on line, almost, there we go. And that's how you hit a chip shot. Ball position inside right knee, my hands are under my chin, so my hands are slightly ahead of the ball. The wrist stays stiff and firm, back and through it with the arms. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back, now in this next segment of today's show, I'm gonna cover pitching. Pitching is a little bit different than chipping. With chipping, Remember the ball was still off the inside right knee, but you kept your wrist stiff and firm. The difference between chipping and pitching, pitching, you hinge your wrist. You do break your wrist on the backswing. So that's the difference between chipping and pitching. Again, how hard do you swing? Well, that's a guess. You still have to pick a spot or an area on the green where you want the ball to, to roll to hopefully get it to roll up close to the hole itself. You still play the ball back in your stance off the inside right knee. Your hands are ahead of the ball. So you got the ball back in your stance inside right knee. Again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. So ball position inside right knee. My hands are under my chin. Hands ahead of the ball. But you will hinge your wrist now. This is pitching versus chipping. How hard to swing? That's a guess. Again, I'm on the 12th hole here at Pipestone Golf Club, a beautiful course, beautiful green, but I've got to pick that spot where I want the ball to land to hopefully let it roll to the hole. And I am pitching uphill. So I'm going to try to carry this ball maybe about 12 feet onto the green. I'll hinge my wrist back and through it with the arms. So take a couple practice swings. Break your wrist. So I'm hinging my wrist back and through it. Okay, a little firm on that one. Ball position. My wrist a little bit. All right, there we go. I'm back and through it with the arms. Again, if you come through the shot and you flip your wrists up, you'll blade the ball, you'll line drive it, it'll go over the green. Chipping, keep the wrist stiff and firm. This is pitching. Pitching, you will hinge or break your wrist a little bit. But the key is stay down. I always tell my students, try to hit the grass under the ball. If you nick the grass under the ball, you're going to get the ball in the air. So you want to stay down, play the ball back in your stance, and hinge your wrist a little bit. All right. There's some more here. And that's the key. I'm just using my arms, not my body. I'm not swaying back and forth. Hmm, I don't know how that one missed. Right over the edge. But pick a spot or an area where you want that ball to land. That's the key. Ball position inside right knee. Again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. Here we go. How hard to swing? Well, that's practice. It takes practice. Golf is a challenging sport. Come out and practice. My students say, how often should I practice to knock strokes off to become a better golfer. And I tell them at least twice a week 
at the driving range once a week on the golf course. If you don't have time to go to the driving range, that's okay. Go to the practice green. Go to your, your, your facility. Go to your golf course and practice around the green. Short game is very important. That's where you save your strokes. So we're covering pitching. Ball position inside right knee. Hands are ahead of the ball and I'm hinging my wrists a little bit. And that's the difference between chipping and pitching. Pitching, you do hinge your wrist. Get in a hole. Mm, almost. And you see I'm staying down. Just using my arms back and through it. Okay. Got the line, got to hit a little bit harder. It's a ball position inside right knee. I'm hinging my wrist. This is pitching. That might be in. Uh, almost. Almost. Okay. There we go. Staying down and following through, that's the key. Again, you don't want to just stab at the ball. People stab at the ball and it just hops, it goes nowhere. You got to follow through. Okay. All right, and again, you do have your weight. Your weight is on your left foot. Weight's on my left foot, I'm a right-handed golfer. If you're left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite. Let's hit a few more shots here. Get in. Mm. One more. Ooh, almost. There we go. And that's chipping. Ball position inside right knee. My hands are still out ahead of the ball, but I hinge my wrist when chipping versus pitching. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Hey, thanks for watching. Now in this last segment of today's show, I'm gonna hit a flop shot. Probably one of the toughest shots in golf, but I've made it even tougher. I'm behind a bunker. I've got to clear the bunker. I'm hitting on it onto a green that slopes away from me and it has a severe slope from left to right. So this is not an easy shot. If you, if you have a shot like this on the golf course, you just wanna get it on the green. If you get it close to the hole, that's great. But if you get it on the green, that's what's important. So how do, you, how do we hit a shot like this? Well, first thing I want to do is I'm going to have a wider base. So I'm going to widen my feet. I'm going to play the ball more towards the middle or center of my stance. Now, if I was out in the fairway hitting over a bunker and I was on more even uh, land, so to speak, I would play the ball forward off my left heel. But with this type of shot, I'm going to play the ball more towards the middle slope my shoulders the same way the ground is sloped and open up the club face a little bit now what i like to do is bring the club a little bit outside the line 
on the back swing to try to slide up under the ball and hopefully pop it up and get it on that putting putting surface so like I said this is a pretty tough shot here I just want to get it on the green that, and that's the main thing you want to get it on the green because you want your next shot to be a putt versus another chip so I got my shoulders sloped downhill obviously my weights on my left side That's the key. At that wider base, aiming out to left because I have a severe slant sloping the green from left to right. Got an open club face. I'm going to bring the club a little bit outside the line on the takeaway. That one was pretty good there. All right. And again, the main thing is just get it on the green. You would rather put your next shot than, than to have to chip it. Especially out of a bunker. You don't want to hit your next shot out of a bunker. good this is a very tough shot but this is how you do it all right that's pretty good and balance is the key Balance is the key. You have to stay down. You're just using your arms back and through it. That one jumped a little bit out of the grass, but not bad. I'm putting. All right. Let's try some more. bit harder on that one but I'd still be putting I can't remember a tougher shot than I've ever tried on television before so again this is a flop shot over a bunker downhill green slopes away from me got the wider stance playing the ball off the middle Want to open the club face loop the club out a little bit on the takeaway slide the club up under the ball Good. All right. Okay, a little heavy on that one. Now, what I did wrong, I didn't mean to. On the downswing, I actually dropped my right shoulder. I hit it fat. You got to keep your balance on a shot like this. So, if you drop your right shoulder, you're going to hit it fat. If I pull my left shoulder up, I'm going to top it or hit it thin. Let's stay down now and get, get this club right through it. Yeah, a little bit harder. All right, we're going to get this one on the green. Trying to play that little ridge there to kick it off and let it roll down to the hole. Okay, we're on the green, we're putting. Mm, I hit the edge of the fringe there, really took off. 
It's a bad break. That's that's how golf is sometimes. We'll work down towards that hole. All right, roll it out. There we go. Again, this is a difficult shot. Downhill lie over a bunker to a green that's sloping away from me, left to right. Very fast green. These greens here at Pipestone are in immaculate shape. They are perfect. Got to stay down. Let that club get up under the ball. Pop it up. Again, I'm on the green, but I'm putting. That's all that counts. Get on that putting surface. Got my weight on my left side. And hit that ridge, get down there. Yeah, not bad. Challenging shot, very challenging shot. Pretty good, all right. Let's a few more shots here. So again, this is called a downhill flop shot. I've widened my stance, wider base, so to speak. I'm playing the ball off the middle of my stance. Got an open club face. I'm gonna loop the club out a little bit on the takeaway. Slide the club up under the ball. Again, I'm hitting over a bunker. Hang on to a green that's sloping away from me from left to right. Very fast green. All right, let's hit two more shots here. Got my weight on my left side. Little heavy on that one. Right shoulder dropped again. Okay, one more. Popped it up, hit the fringe and took off a little bit. I'm gonna roll out, but hey, I'm still putting. That's what's important. I can still put that shot. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. Hey, that's golf. We all hit good shots and we all hit bad shots. That was probably the toughest shot I've ever had to hit on television. A flop shot over a bunker to a green that slopes left to right downhill. Hey, that's golf though. I'd like to thank Scott and his staff for having us here today at Pipestone Golf Club. And join me next time on Golf Tips with teaching professional Gary Bauer.